Yeah. Another cold day of November. Lake go up. I think the water went up a bit in the lake there. Yep. Cold November day. 39 degrees. Very humid out. Ah boy. There we go. All the leaves are almost all down. Yep. Rainy, cold. Doesn't take much, eh? Hmm. Yep. Do another cold crank, go for a little spin. Yeah, drop the keys. Uh, yeah. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? Eh? Yeah. You just want to go in the truck, eh? Come on, bud. Yep. There he goes. Eh, see? That's his truck. It's not even mine. I don't get it. It's more of his than mine. Slam that door. Kabang. Woo! Sorry about that. Had the wristband on. Not good. Some people, some headaches there. Yep. Wait, this start. I think the clock spring is gone. I took it out. Uh, I took it out when I first bought this truck. Checked it out. Some brakes in it, but uh, not too bad. All right, here we go. Yep. something here <clears throat> in my area or in where I live or subdivision or whatever you want to call it there's a house <clears throat> it was built in 1798 by Johann Joseph Tressler Tressler was a German dude, came in from Germany, but then uh, he changed his name to Tressler, which was more of a francophone name, and that's it right there. The middle part was built in 1798, and the both sides here, I don't know which one, but one of the extensions was built in uh, 1805, and the other one was built in 1806. This house is 144 feet long by 42 feet wide. Big house. This gentleman was a businessman. He was a soldier when he came to Canada at the time, which I believe is in 1777. He became a businessman. And uh, most of his business was uh, beaver pelts or the fur trade between the uh, Native Indians and the, the British colonies and blah blah blah. And he dealt with the Courage de Bois, which would use the Lake of Two Mountains, which is the Ottawa River system, the Utawe, which is a Native Indian. Uh, Maine, and 
it goes all the way up past Ottawa. So the natives and the Kuar of the war would uh, paddle up and down this river and lake system in canoes. And that's what they did to trade. So that's the answer. Not bad, eh? I wish I had a house like that. Uh, the heating bill must be tense, but nice chimney stacks, though. Got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got a whole bunch of chimney stacks. So that's it. That's a house that's not far from mine. Just thought I'd uh, show it to you guys. Nice house there. Yep. Uh, I have to get some coffee. You want to see something funny? Yeah. Too close. The dog leans into the corners. It's hilarious. Watch. Around the bend. There you go. He leans in. And we're gonna go the other way. He's gonna lean the other way. Ah, oh, he's funny. Yeah, that's my dog. All right. Truck is nice and warm now. Driven it around. Went and got my great Canadian coffee. That stuff is so good. Anyways, let's see what happens. Shut her off. Oh, turn off the lights. Shut her off. Wait a bit. See what it does? Nice, eh? So much fun. That's why when I go somewhere, I have to leave it run. Why does it do that? I don't know. Anyways. Shows you how the starter is when it's cold and when it's hot. Hmm. I'm going to have to take the starter off and look at it again. I took it off uh, last week when I was stuck at the bank. I took it off the truck in the parking lot. Pulled down the tailgate and ripped it apart. I thought I burnt one of the contacts again, or one of the leaves I should say, in the actual brush, uh, on the brush plate or the actual field magnet, but everything was nice. No burn marks, no overheating, nothing. I find it so strange. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, there you have it. Here's the dog. Oh boy. Alright. Well, I won't address to this for a while. Anyways. Over and out.